This is Gene Felton of Atlanta, Georgia, the man who has just dominated the Kelly Girl Challenge ever since the series began. Undefeated this year, won four out of five events in 1979. He's been racing for well over a decade. The question today is, does Gene Felton keep that amazing string going in the Kelly Girl Challenge at Golden State International Raceway? Stay with us and we will find out. American Road Racing Series. This program is brought to you by Kelly Services, the Kelly Girl People, the best known name in temporary health. From 45 minutes north of Baghdad by the Bay, San Francisco at Golden State International Raceway, the truest form of stock car racing in the International Motorsports Association goes at it on this tough circuit. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Bob Steinbrink. We're very pleased to have you with us for what should be a most exciting afternoon of racing. It is Ladies' Day at Golden State with three women competing in the field of stock sedans. And they really are stock, and they are really going to have a difficult time getting around this circuit. As I said, it's two and a half miles. It's very narrow. Lots of twists and turns, lots of blind turns, up and downhill. The longest straight, only 1,100 feet. So as soon as you get on it, you got to get off it. Interesting story in qualifying for this race this afternoon. We'll get that story from the 1979 Indianapolis Rookie of the Year, a former Formula Atlantic champion, Howdy Holmes. Thanks, Bob. It's nice working with you today. Interesting story in qualifying. Gene Felton won the championship three times in a row. He's on the pole by over two seconds. There are three women in this race, and on the second on the grid is Kathy Rood. Very fast, very capable, and has a great future. I look to see her give Gene a tough time this afternoon. It's going to be a... Runs into trouble and has to pit. It's going to be a super great race because of what happened in qualifying. Everybody else quite close, except for Gene Felton. Whoever has to pit, they're going to have to... As they come down, the approach to the very short home straightaway and prepare for the start of this race. They are in the heart of turn 11 right now. Felton has just dominated this series. He leads the points challenge by 23 points already, just halfway through the series. And there goes an engine already. Coming down past the pits now. Around turn 12, the setup for the start. And it's a single file start, but they get the green flag. And here we go with Gene Felton out in front into turn one. That left-hander up the hill. A very difficult turn, but they take it at top speed. Coming through there, they will be in fourth gear. Felton out in front in the battle, and Felton not dusting anybody yet in that blue and white car. Felton with the lead, working his way uphill, and right in behind him is Byrne Smith, the 77 car. And how do you, uh, your analysis of that start? Well, I think there was a bit of a problem. Uh, uh, Roy uh, Steamy had uh, lost the engine, I believe. And, uh, of course, he confused the rest of the people behind him and uh, started a single file, which is a little bit unusual. It usually is two by two. I think they confused a lot of people, spread the pack out a little bit, but I'm sure that uh, everybody's dicing for the positions as they are now. Right now, it's uh, Felton and Smith out in front. Stamey with nothing but a disaster as he started out this battle. That's a terrible shame. He was the second fastest qualifier in the race. Working their way through the hilly section of Golden State International Raceway now. Coming down through turns to seven and uh, five, setting up for turn six. I beg your pardon, that's turn seven. Now they're working their way down the S's. Turns eight and nine coming down. They'll come behind the grandstand section into turn 10. Many drivers consider that the most difficult turn on this circuit. These cars will go 20 laps. They'll try to take the outside line, can't do it. The key to how the car holds on and how the guy is driving is the minimum purse in this race of $20,000. Felton qualified two and a half seconds faster than Burn Smith, but he cannot shake off Burn Smith. Back through the uphill section again they go, and now Felton starts to stretch it out a little bit. Nice cross. Back through the uphill section again they go, and now Felton starts to stretch it out a little bit. Nice crowd on hand, as you can see. Turn 10. Those are lashed together and covered with mesh. Again, at the end of the wall where pit re-entry is. 
where there was a meeting. to get that checkered flag. He's seen it before. He's hungry. He knows what it's like. And he's hearing all sorts of weird things now. He's sure a wheel's going to fall off. His motor's going to blow up. The oil's going to fall out of it. All sorts of things are going through his mind right now. But he looks like he's going to get it. He's well on his way to another well-deserved victory. That's a downhill run for Gene Felton. So he might be able to coast if something went wrong. Around turn 10. And into turn 11. Just a few hundred yards to go for Gene Felton of Atlanta, Georgia, in a Chevy Nova to claim another Kelly Girl Challenge victory, this one at Golden State. Felton under the flag stand, checkered flag for Gene Felton. Felton wins the Kelly Girl Challenge at Golden State Raceway by a lap and then some. And there you get a good idea of what a gorgeous setting this is for road racing in the hills of the Sonoma Valley where they make that marvelous California wine. And Gene Felton won it by 34 seconds. Howdy, that surprise you? Uh, not really, Bob. Uh, uh, of course, you'd like to see a little bit closer race, but you've got to give Gene Felton and his crew a tremendous amount.